it's a screenshot when I first got into it. Clocks at 1300, memory at 2250. I was, uh, this is with a BIOS mod, by the way. The, and I'll uh, talk about that a little bit later, but uh, it was about 100 watts per card and mining around 31. When I dual mined, I think it dropped about a mega hash. Um, but as you know, over time with the DAG increase and, and other things with Ethereum and the difficulty, um, it went down to about, I was doing that like 28 and a half. And I was like really trying to get back that 30. And finally we uh, got the official mining driver release, the beta version. Um, and I did visit this site here. I visited this site many times. Firstminingrig.com. Um, Ciprian. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not sure. He, she. Uh, very, very helpful individual. Um, walks you through doing the whole process here. Um, and the links to download everything you need. I'm just going to put a link to this in the description because this will give you everything you really need. Now, as you can see, I'm signed into this rig here, about 31-ish across the board. Uh, I have a monitor plugged into GPU2, which I normally don't have, but just so I can get the resolution up because uh, when I remoted into this machine, it wasn't, uh, it was giving me a really low resolution. So I had to plug in a monitor real quick. But um, yeah, so I just plugged it in and left the clocks pretty much default, then boosted up the memory. Uh, and I'm there. Um, let me just show you real quick here uh, the BIOS mod that I did, which also firstminingrig.com has this exact BIOS mod. You can look it up. Um, you can see here, this is the modded BIOS. And here's the original. I'll just tell you what, uh, you can see the memory straps here are different. So you change these last three, you just paste in the one, I'll put it in the description. This is from like, I think, uh, the RX 480. Um, and that significantly increases you from, I think, like 22 or 24 where it is stock. And that'll get you up to the 27 range, 28. Drop my voltages to 950 across the board here as well. And then I just did increments up by 100. Um, this saved me about 10 or 20 watts, I think, doing this. Uh, and then I increment each one of my cards like this, 1201, 1202, 1203 accordingly so that I can actually identify them in my software. Any videos out there on how to do this, if you guys want, I can create one. Um, but uh, that's a separate topic. Sure, I've, I, I uh, decreased the power limit so that the temp limit was 65. And you'll see that that changes depending on the card, some are just clocked differently inherently. Um, but yeah, and then I was able to drop this to negative 66. Any, any more than this, and I started getting instability issues. So we got a monitor hook up to it right now, so it's a little bit low. I don't usually have a monitor just for this presentation so I can get the resolution. But uh, here's my eight GPU rig. I'm running the Asus Prime Z270A. I got two EVGA 1200 Platinum. It's a little too much. I could probably get away with a thousand. So when I build my next uh, rig that needs these, I'll probably swap them out with 1,000 watts. Four of these pull 730, and the other four pull 720. So we got 1,400 watts. Yeah, this is the rig. <laughs> 